Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 most deadly bugs in the world from the humid rainforests to the arid deserts. Insects have conquered every corner of our globe. They are masters of survival, adapting to the harshest environments and evolving alongside us for millions of years. But within this fascinating world of invertebrates, there exist creatures whose very existence poses a threat to human life. We'll delve into the shadowy realm of these ancient killers, exploring the intricate ways they deliver their deadly venom and spread diseases. These aren't monsters of myth and legend. These are real-life threats that continue to challenge human health and survival. Join me as we journey across the globe, encountering these fascinating yet formidable creatures, uncovering their secrets and learning about the crucial role they play in the delicate balance of our planet. We'll also explore how long these dangerous creatures have existed on our planet, tracing their lineage back through millennia. Our journey into the world of deadly insects begins with a creature so small, it often goes unnoticed. The mosquito. This seemingly insignificant insect, with its high-pitched whine and irritating bite, is responsible for more human deaths than any other creature on Earth. For over 100 million years, mosquitoes have thrived, their evolution intertwined with the dinosaurs. Today, there are over 3,500 species of mosquitoes, each with its preferred environment and feeding habits, while only the females feed on blood, needing it for egg production. It's this very act that makes them such efficient vectors of disease. Malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, West Nile virus, the list of mosquito-borne illnesses is long and deadly. These diseases affect millions each year, primarily in tropical and subtropical regions. The mosquito's ability to thrive in diverse environments combined with its talent for spreading disease makes it a formidable force in the insect world. Controlling mosquito populations is crucial in preventing the spread of these diseases. This involves a multi-pronged approach from eliminating breeding grounds to using insecticides and mosquito nets. The fight against mosquito-borne illnesses is a constant battle, a stark reminder of the power these tiny creatures wield. Our next stop takes us to the African continent, home to a silent killer, the Tsetse fly. This seemingly unremarkable insect, with its distinctive folded wings and forward-pointing proboscis, carries a parasite that spells danger for humans and animals alike. For about 34 million years, the Tsetse fly has inhabited sub-Saharan Africa, its existence intertwined with the sleeping sickness it transmits. This disease, also known as African trypanosomiasis, affects the central nervous system, causing debilitating symptoms like fever, headaches, and extreme fatigue. The sets of fly becomes infected with the trypanosome parasite when it feeds on the blood of an infected animal or human. The parasite multiplies within the fly and is then transmitted to others through its bite. If left untreated, sleeping sickness can lead to coma and eventually death. Control efforts focus on reducing setsi fly populations through trapping, insecticides and even releasing sterilized male flies to disrupt breeding cycles. The fight against sleeping sickness is a race against time, a constant effort to stay one step ahead of this deadly disease. The setsi fly, a silent stalker in the African bush, reminds us of the hidden dangers lurking in the natural world. Our journey into the world of deadly insects now leads us to the assassin bug, a master of disguise and deception. These insects, with their elongated bodies and piercing mouthparts, are found worldwide, inhabiting diverse environments from forests to grasslands. For approximately 50 million years, assassin bugs have honed their hunting skills, evolving into efficient predators. Their name is no coincidence. They are masters of ambush, using their piercing mouthparts to inject a paralyzing toxin into their prey. While their venom is deadly to insects, some species of assassin bugs pose a threat to humans as well. These insects can transmit a parasitic disease called Chagas disease, primarily found in the Americas. The assassin bug becomes infected with the Chagas parasite when it feeds on the blood of an infected animal or human. The parasite multiplies within the bug and is then transmitted through its feces. Transmission to humans typically occurs when the infected feces contaminate wounds or mucous membranes. Symptoms of Chagas disease can range from mild to severe, with some individuals developing life-threatening heart and digestive problems. Controlling assassin bug populations, especially in areas where Chagas disease is prevalent, 
is crucial in preventing the spread of this silent threat. Our next encounter brings us face to face with the kissing bug, an insect with a rather misleading name. This nocturnal feeder with its cone-shaped head and piercing mouth parts is another carrier of the Chagas disease parasite, posing a silent threat to millions in the Americas. For around 30 million years, kissing bugs have inhabited the warmer regions of the Americas, their evolution intertwined with the Chagas parasite. They earn their name from their habit of biting humans on the face, often near the mouth while they sleep. While the bite itself is not directly harmful, the real danger lies in the kissing bug's feces, which can contain the Chagas parasite. If the feces enter the body through the bite wound, the eyes or the mouth, it can lead to infection. Chagas disease, also known as American trypanosomiasis, can cause a range of symptoms from mild fever and swelling to life-threatening heart and digestive problems. Early detection and treatment are crucial in managing the disease and preventing long-term complications. Controlling kissing bug populations is essential in preventing the spread of Chagas disease. This involves improving housing conditions, using insecticides and raising awareness about the risks associated with these nocturnal feeders. We return to the world of mosquitoes, this time focusing on a specific culprit, the Anopheles mosquito. This insect, with its distinctive tilted body when at rest and feathery antennae, is the primary vector of malaria, a deadly disease that continues to plague humanity. Like other mosquitoes, the Anopheles has graced our planet for over 100 million years. Its ability to thrive in diverse environments and its preference for feeding on human blood make it a formidable foe. The Anopheles mosquito transmits the malaria parasite Plasmodium through its bite. The parasite enters the bloodstream, travels to the liver, and then multiplies, eventually infecting red blood cells. This cycle of infection causes the debilitating symptoms of malaria, including fever, chills, sweating, headache, muscle pain, and fatigue. Malaria remains a leading cause of death in many tropical and subtropical regions, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. Controlling Anopheles mosquito populations is crucial in preventing the spread of this deadly disease. This involves a multifaceted approach, including insecticide-treated mosquito nets, indoor residual spraying, and larval control measures. The fight against malaria is a global effort, a testament to the devastating impact this tiny insect can have on human health. Our journey now takes us to the world of fleas, tiny wingless insects that are masters of jumping and biting. These parasites, with their flattened bodies and powerful hind legs, are notorious for their ability to spread disease, most notably the bubonic plague, a disease that has shaped human history. For about 55 million years, fleas have evolved alongside their warm-blooded hosts, their lives intricately linked. They are found worldwide, inhabiting a variety of environments from animal burrows to human dwellings. Fleas feed on the blood of their hosts, using their piercing mouth parts to penetrate the skin and draw blood. While most flea bites result in itchy welts, some flea species are vectors of serious diseases. The most infamous example is the oriental rat flea which played a key role in spreading the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death. The bubonic plague, caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, is a severe and often fatal disease. Fleas become infected with the plague bacterium when they feed on infected rodents, such as rats. The bacteria multiply within the flea's gut, eventually blocking its digestive tract. When the infected flea attempts to feed again, it regurgitates the bacteria into the bloodstream of its new host. Controlling flea populations is essential in preventing the spread of flea-borne diseases. This involves treating pets and livestock with flea control products, maintaining clean living environments, and managing rodent populations. Our next encounter brings us face to face with the fire ant, an insect that packs a painful punch. These small reddish-brown ants are known for their aggressive nature and potent venom which can cause intense burning and itching sensations. For around 80 million years, fire ants have marched across our planet, their colonies forming complex underground networks. They are highly adaptable insects, capable of surviving in a wide range of habitats from forests and grasslands to urban areas. 
Fire ants are fiercely protective of their colonies and will readily attack anything they perceive as a threat. When disturbed, they latch onto their victim with their powerful jaws and inject venom through a stinger located at the tip of their abdomen. The venom contains a mixture of alkaloids that cause intense pain, redness and swelling at the site of the sting. While most fire ant stings are painful but not life-threatening, some individuals can experience severe allergic reactions known as anaphylaxis, which can be fatal if not treated immediately. Fire ant stings can also be dangerous for young children, the elderly and those with compromised immune systems. Managing fire ant populations can be challenging, but there are several methods available including baiting, insecticide treatments and even introducing natural predators. Understanding fire ant behavior and taking precautions to avoid contact is key to preventing painful encounters. Our exploration of venomous insects takes us deep into the Amazon rainforest where we encounter the bullet ant, an insect renowned for its excruciating sting. This large black ant, measuring up to an inch long, is not an insect you want to encounter on your jungle treks. For about 100 million years, the bullet ant has instilled fear in the rainforest. Its name is no exaggeration. The sting of a bullet ant is said to be as painful as being shot, hence the name. It's often described as a wave of burning, throbbing pain that can last for hours, even up to a full day. The bullet ant's venom contains a neurotoxin called ponerotoxin, which disrupts nerve transmission and causes intense pain. Unlike other stinging insects, the bullet ant's venom doesn't cause immediate tissue damage. Instead, it focuses on overwhelming the nervous system, delivering pure, unadulterated agony. Interestingly, despite the intense pain, bullet ant stings are not typically fatal to humans. The pain serves as a potent deterrent, a stark warning to any creature that dares to threaten the ant or its colony. Indigenous tribes living in the Amazon rainforest have long been aware of the bullet ant's potent sting and have incorporated it into their rituals. For instance, some tribes use bullet ant gloves as part of their initiation rites, testing the endurance and courage of young warriors. Our journey into the world of parasitic insects leads us to the botfly, a creature whose life cycle is both fascinating and gruesome. These hairy flies, resembling bumblebees, are found worldwide, but it's their larvae that earn them a spot on our list of deadly insects. Bot flies have existed on our planet for around 30 million years. Unlike other insects on our list that inject venom, bot flies rely on a more insidious method of inflicting harm. They use mammals, including humans, as living incubators for their young. Female bot flies lay their eggs on the skin of mammals, often using mosquitoes or ticks as unwitting accomplices. When the eggs hatch, the tiny larvae burrow into their host's skin, creating a small, boil-like swelling. As the botfly larva grows, it feeds on the host's tissue, causing discomfort and sometimes intense pain. The larva breathes through a small hole in the skin, which also serves as an escape route when it's ready to pupate. While botfly infestations are rarely fatal, they can be extremely distressing and if left untreated can lead to secondary infections. Removing the larva requires a delicate procedure often involving suffocating it before extracting it from the skin. Botflies serve as a reminder that the natural world is full of surprises and sometimes those surprises come with a hefty dose of discomfort. Our final stop takes us to the world of ticks, small blood-sucking parasites that can transmit a range of diseases. Among them is the deer tick, a tiny arachnid with a big bite known for spreading Lyme disease, a debilitating illness that can have long-term health consequences. For approximately 20 million years, deer ticks have inhabited woodlands and grassy areas, their lives intertwined with the animals they feed on. While they are often associated with deer, these tiny ticks will readily feed on a variety of mammals, including humans. Deer ticks become infected with the bacteria that cause Lyme disease, Borrelia burgdorferi when they feed on infected animals, such as white-footed mice. The bacteria multiply within the tick and are then transmitted to humans through the tick's bite. Lyme disease can cause a range of symptoms, from a characteristic bullseye rash to flu-like symptoms, joint pain and neurological problems. Early diagnosis and treatment with antibiotics are crucial in preventing the disease from progressing to its later stages, which can involve chronic pain, fatigue and cognitive impairment. Preventing tick bites is the best defense against Lyme disease.
This includes wearing protective clothing using insect repellent and checking for ticks after spending time in tick-infested areas. Thanks for watching our countdown of the top 10 most deadly bugs in the world. We've journeyed across the globe, encountering creatures that instill both fascination and fear. From the mosquito's deadly bite to the bullet ant's agonizing sting, these insects remind us of the power of nature and the importance of respecting the delicate balance of our ecosystem. It's important to remember that while these insects pose a threat to human health, they also play vital roles in their respective ecosystems. They are pollinators, decomposers, and a crucial part of the food chain. Our goal is not to demonize these creatures, but to understand them better so we can coexist safely. Stay safe and be aware of these dangerous creatures. By understanding their habits and taking precautions, we can minimize our risks and appreciate the incredible diversity of the insect world.